ChatGPT has been king since it came out, but that doesn't mean it can't be dethroned. As of right now, ChatGPT has a new competitor that's not Google Bard. The new competitor is called Claude 2. Claude 2 is a new AI assistant that will answer all of your questions just like ChatGPT, but it's based on 1,000 tokens, which will make Claude 2 technically better with more realistic data than ChatGPT. Now, one major con of ChatGPT is that the data that it uses for its large language model only progresses up to 2021. Claude 2 is using data from 2023, so the information that Claude 2 should be giving back should be more new and and more valid than information from ChatGPT. Now, a main reason why people are switching from GPT-4 over to Claude 2 is that Claude 2 is completely free right now while it's in beta. It offers all the same functionality as ChatGPT-4 that you have to pay a monthly subscription for, which includes code generation, being able to read code as you dump it in. So think of Code Interpreter, Claude 2 does this free. On top of it, it has all the normal capabilities of ChatGPT where you can ask questions, try to create lists, and analyze data. It can do everything that ChatGPT4 can do, but does it do it better? Well, in this video, we're gonna dive in and do a tutorial on Claude 2. All right, now after looking at Claude, we can see that Claude has had some key partners, which is Notion, Quora, and DuckDuckGo in the closed alpha. So they're working with a lot of different kind of companies and people that are able to look in and be able to test a lot of these large language models before it was open to the public, which it is now open to the public. So Claude is the next generation AI assistant based on Athropics research into training helpful, honest, and harmless AI systems. Now that's a key point. They are trying to create healthy and safe AI applications, so we don't have to worry about any kind of threats of generative AI and how that can disrupt kind of how we're operating today. Now, some of the things that Claude can really help with is summarization, search, creativity, collaborative writing, uh, QA, and the biggest one that I have noticed, but it could also be because I'm in the field, is coding. So early customers report that Claude is much less likely to produce harmful outputs than a lot of the competitors that it's had before. So let's go ahead and jump into Claude and see how it compares to other large language models like ChatGPT. Now, Claude 2's parent company is known as Anthropic. Just like ChatGPT's parent company is OpenAI, Anthropic is Claude 2. When you go to anthropic.com, you can see that we're on their website. But if you scroll down a little bit, we can see that Claude in beta is now available. So let's go ahead and click talk to Claude. When you click this, you need to create an account and all you need to provide is an email and then be able to register that email. So it's going to send you an authentication token. Unlike ChatGPT where you have to provide a cell phone number, Claude 2 doesn't expect that because it's completely research based and right now completely free while in beta. Now when you go to Claude, the very first thing it's going to tell you to do is start a new chat. And when you click a new chat, we can see that it already has an attachment file where you can add up to five different pieces of data that it'll be able to analyze. So in this video, you'll see me adding code in there and we'll be analyzing code. But to start, let's just kind of see how it works in general. If I just say, hi Claude, we can see that it's going to answer us fairly quickly when it just printed, hello, how can I help you? So I'm gonna ask the question, I wanna learn software engineering. How should I go about this? Well, we can see almost instantly Claude 2 gave us an answer. Here are some tips for learning software engineering. Start with the fundamentals, learn the basics of concepts, and then it's gonna tell us to work on projects, contribute to open source projects. I'm gonna recommend Fast API if you haven't looked into it. Expand your knowledge, build a portfolio, get experience and stay up to date. So it's gonna tell us the main thing to do is just stay after it every single day. All right, this is awesome. I'm gonna say can. So I'm now gonna ask it, can you build me a to-do project in Fast API? Well, what we can see here is it's gonna tell us that this is a basic Fast API application where we're importing Fast API. We are doing something with the core's middleware. So let's look into this. It's just saying that we're able to pass in APIs from external URLs. We are using Pydantic for our to-do object. And it does look like this will work. We even have a little return error for the delete method if the delete cannot find the ID. Well, this is pretty good stuff. Now, immediately after, it's gonna tell us how to run it. We can see that it says pip install fast API Uvicorn, and then it's going to tell us the exact command to run it. 
All right, so now I want to go ahead and add a Python file to Claude 2 to see if it will know what's going on here. So I'm going to say, what does this code do? Now, it hopefully it'll tell us exactly what it does. So this fast API code defines an API endpoint for creating users. Let me break down what it's doing. It has models, it has validation, and it has API endpoints. So, so far this seems pretty good. Let me see if it knows what model dump does. So what does dot model dump function do in the code above? <clears throat> So I'm asking it right now, what does model dump do? And it's going to tell us that model dump method on Pydantic models used to convert the model instance to a dictionary. Now, what's super crazy is model dump and Pydantic 2 literally just came out this year. So Claude 2 already knows code that was released this year. Right now it's saying an alternative is to use the user underscore dictionary, which is from Pydantic version one, but it's going to know Pydantic version two because Claude is up to date with current information. Let's ask Claude two how up to date it is. So I'm gonna say, what year is your data from compared to other chatbots? All right, so it's telling us that ChatGPT was trained on 2019. As we know, GPT-4 is trained up to 2021. And here it's saying it's trained up to 2021 and 2022 but we are definitely seeing information of model dump, which is used and created in 2023. So this is an awesome start and it's huge competition compared to ChatGPT. All right, now let's quickly jump over to ChatGPT4, so the most advanced ChatGPT that you can currently get. And I'm gonna ask the question of what is dot model dump in Pydantic? And we know that Claude 2 knew exactly what dot model dump is. And we can see in ChatGPT4, it says, as of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, the dot model dump does not work. So we can see that just comparing very basic code of Pydantic Fast API um, to Claude 2 and ChatGPT, that Claude 2 is gonna have a little bit more updated information comparative to ChatGPT. If I ask Claude 2, can you write me a summary on what AI is? Let's just compare what Claude 2 says compared to ChatGPT. So if I come over here now and say the same thing, we can see that it's going to think it says artificial intelligence is a broad field of computer science that aims to stimulate the human intelligence and machines. And it's kind of going through and it's, it's really creating a good summary of what AI and artificial intelligence is. Now we can see compared to Claude 2, Claude 2 already wrote exactly what we needed with some key aspects of what AI actually is while ChatGPT did something different. It actually created paragraphs and almost like a research paper of what it is versus bullet points of Claude 2. Now, Claude 2 is great at using information from the day, but it's also built on the research to dynamically be able to work with code and other research topics. ChatGPT is more of a language model that is used just as a chat bot. You can customize ChatGPT through the OpenAI API where you can then customize the prompt a little bit based on the question being asked. But Claude 2 right off the bat is more used for research topics and beta information versus ChatGPT. Now, if we're looking at the exact token usage in how customizable each one is, as of right now, Claude 2 is saying that it's going to have a little bit more information than ChatGPT just based on tokens and data alone. So this was a quick overview of Claude 2 and how we can potentially use it for the future. Now, this makes three major competitors in this space, which is ChatGPT, Google Bard and Claude 2. And I'm excited to see kind of how Claude 2 takes over and starts branching out into this world of large language models.